I could have happily gone my entire life without having learned that Chris has no clay nipple. What's up guys, welcome to 12 Locks 3, the final installment in a series of games that I can really only describe as being a beautiful claymation window into the mind of a complete friggin lunatic. Like, for some reason, Chris feels the need to put 12 locks on everything that he owns, and then scatter the keys throughout his weird, turd-textured apartment. Or at least that used to be the case. Now, it's subtitled Around the World, so God only knows what he's gonna be locking up now. Hey guys, I am Lisa. Wasn't your name Liza in the first two games? If you're trying to come up with a pseudonym to escape your father, you might want to try being just a little bit more creative than that. We decided to go on a journey around the world. Dad, why did you lock the door with 12 locks? How do we get out? What's the point of all these bars on the windows? How is a pseudonym gonna help me escape your psychotic imprisonment? Are you aware that guys don't like that you hide keys with such complicated puzzles? Okay, calm down there, Liza Lisa. I don't appreciate the meta commentary. I feel personally attacked. Don't worry, this time I didn't hide them. Uh, what? Well, as we've come to expect, he's definitely doing his best to make sure his daughter can't get out. He's got 12 locks on the door, and he's standing guard with a paddle for whatever reason. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh yeah, he didn't bother hiding the keys this time. Why? Maybe the paddle is supposed to act as some kind of deterrent? You touch a key, that's a paddling. You scream for help, that's a paddling. Make fun of Chris's weird cock eyes, and you better believe that that's a paddling. Oh, I did not find enough keys. We're still four short. And a code. Oh no, we know the code, right? It was uh, eight. Four nine one. Okay, so you did hide some of them, you little malleable liar. <laughs> Question is, where would you keep a key? Also, I feel the need to point out that there are no windows in this room. Like, there's a fake window, it's just a picture, probably to help her cope with her confinement. <laughs> Are you guys quarantined for something, or is this truly as dark as I'm making it out to be? I really have no sweet clue. I'll pass on the ad. Right now I gotta figure out a puzzle. Oh, that's not a puzzle, it's a button. <laughs> All right, you keeping anything in your shoes? Of course. Okay, so, uh, Lisa, Liza, whatever you want to call yourself, get ready to run. I am opening the door. Uh, Chris? Was that a plane in your driveway? <laughs> you see how quickly we have unlocked this door. I, I still don't know why you have a plane in your driveway and why you would need a paddle for a plane. <laughs> what? Why is it so easy? Not interesting. Fair enough. Don't worry, next level will be more challenging for guys. Why do I feel like Chris really wanted a little butt baby son and not a daughter, and that's why he's disappointed here? Also, all these fourth wall breaks are just really getting under my skin. Like, if they know there are players, then they must know that they're in a game. How can their little plasticine brains process that? Today, I and Dadov decided to dive. So is this the point where you're gonna disconnect his oxygen and then just claim it was some kind of equipment malfunction? Lisa, look how beautiful it is here. It's so blue and textured, just like our apartment walls. Dad, look, there's a treasure chest. Let's open it. First of all, we need to open all these locks. Okay, that kind of making sense. I'll take it. I could have happily gone my entire life without having learned that Chris has no clay nipples. That being said, I want you guys to leave a comment right now with your guess as to what's in this chest. No cheating, there are no winners, there's no prize. We're all losers here. My hope is that it's gonna be a mermaid with a giant pair of Play-Doh balls. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Fish, uh-huh. One lock down, we're off to a good start. Hey, Chris? I don't know if you have a plasticine butthole, but you might want to steer clear of 
whatever the hell this thing is. What is it? It's got five tentacles, eyebrows, and lips. It looks like Squidward and the Pokemon Jinx had a child and then abandoned it <laughs> in a dumpster somewhere. Oh, it's got a weird thing. Okay. Well, I'm pressing its buttons. Quite literally, it seems to be into that. Can I grab... Oh, I can grab the other fish. All right, then. We've got some underwater cactus. We've got... Oh, we've got another chest, but it's in a cave. The cave has some kind of little doodad on it as well. Can you help me, bird? Oh. Why is that seagull making chicken noises? <laughs> Close enough. Oh, this is interesting. We have matching colored little doodad knobs on the ship, and they might match up with the fish? Oh, they do. Okay, so what if I... Oh, that's probably telling me the position that this needs to be in. Okay, so we've got green in the correct position. We don't know about yellow yet. Uh, kind of afraid to pull something like this up out of the ground. Uh, I don't want to know what's on the other end of this to be perfectly honest. Oh, it's a key. It's a very long, strange key. And a chest where I need to switch over all the colors. Okay, then. Oh, no. Why you gotta hit me with puzzles? <laughs> That's gotta be good enough, right? How do I get even further than this? I think the eerie calm of this plasticine water is getting to me. I could have swore I just saw something swim by real quick behind me. It wasn't you, was it? Take you anyway, but we need to figure out this puzzle. I refuse to believe the pirates were smart enough to regularly figure this crap out on their own. Like, why would they, why would they not just use keys on all of their chests rather than just some of them? Okay, we're making progress. Oh, I see. So there's just enough space for me to pass by one at a time. We gotta keep doing stuff like that. So I want you out of the way, and then you can go up in the corner, go back down, and then we'll get the other orange one over. I think we might have it figured out, right? That's gotta be good! Please tell me I get something out of that. Yes, we got a key! Okay, we figured out the ancient pirate turd puzzle. Again, I, I know that I'm just a giant child, but it looks like a huge poop ship. I didn't mean anything by it, Captain, okay? It was, it was just a joke. Like, everybody knows that you're not actually steering some kind of poop ship. I mean, poop floats. <laughs> I don't suppose you've got a little something on you. Okay, and how about your anchor? 1976. That is probably very important. Oh. I'm assuming that the pink fish is good for the purple knob. Okay, yeah, nature is not quite matching up with what we would expect, but we've got those two down. If we can find yellow and... Oh, there's yellow. Okay, so yellow needs to go like this. 2849. 2849 I should just write this stuff down. 1976 from Steamy Log Anchor, and 2849 from the SS Sinky Stool. That should be good enough for getting this open. We also have some kind of cave? I don't know if I have anything for a cave. I mean, I've got a feather. I don't know what the feather might be used for. <laughs> Very strange. That's technically two caves that we have now. Uh... What are you guys up to? You... Get get out, get out of the way. Get, get out of the way. Is this important? Do I need this for... Ah, okay. I do need this for something. Thank you very much. <laughs> and I guess that's everything for now. Let's start unlocking some of this, but we're clearly missing things because I've got a bunch of random items in my inventory. Like the feather. Oh, we can get these open. Uh, 1976. Good. Doesn't have a little light on it, because technically it's very ancient technology. <laughs> and 2849. Good. So we're missing... Three keys or four keys? What is... Oh, we need three numbers. Okay. 
uh, I'm running out of stuff. I had assumed I was getting a reaction out of it by poking this boat indicator, but I can poke him anywhere. What if I poke you with a feather? A tickle to key out of him, I guess? <laughs> All right, works for me. So we need a white one and a green one and three numbers. Clearly we need to get into this, but I still have no sweet clue how. I need something to to reach that with. Oh, oh, okay, we got we got a green one, good. <laughs> Just gotta click on everything at this rate. I can make him dance for whatever reason. That doesn't seem particularly useful <laughs> for anybody. I've already gotten a key out of him. It's gotta be something to do with this cave. And I've still got a bunch of fish left over. I don't suppose I could feed them to something in the cave, okay. Doesn't seem to really be doing anything right now. Am I supposed to? Oh, okay. And the fish are back. Nature is just crazy like that. What did I get? Looks like a, it's, I mean, technically it was the bulb on the end of his little thing, but what would I use it for? I don't think there's anything I need it for over here. Uh, oh. Okay, so this is a puzzle as well. I hadn't noticed this. This should be a relatively easy puzzle, I would imagine. I thought maybe for a second I would need to lock in some kind of uh, light bulb here, but nope, just gotta open it up like that. So I have a light bulb, I need a white key, and a code. I don't suppose you got anything in those tiny little skibbies of yours, do you? <laughs> no, wishful thinking. Whenever I see the answer to something like this, it just dawns on me, and my first reaction is, wow, how did I not think of that sooner? I'm an idiot. But no, you should not think that pulling the light bulb off of a fish would be at all helpful in a cave. Why do I need light to figure this out? Oh. Okay, it's one of those parking games. Except it's really really difficult. Hold on, I think we need to do a little something like that. <laughs> Never mind, not really difficult at all. Okay, so now all we need is three numbers and we're in the clear. I don't suppose you wanna give me some numbers? Would that mean zero, zero, zero? Should I try that? Consider it tried. No plant can remain unshaken, no rock can remain unturned. We will figure out that it's five, two, eight. Okay then, I guess a pirate just dropped that. <laughs> Let's see here. Five, two, eight. And we're good. We get the treasure. Now, this is your last chance to put in your guess. I'm still hoping for big Play-Doh tittied mermaid. And it's full of ducks. God, that still works. Hooray, the chest is unlocked. Whose bright idea was to lock all these ducks in here? It looks like I'm not the only one having this habit to lock anything with 12 locks. <sighs> you know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of 12 Locks 3, guys. Do you wanna see these two idiots go to space? Should I make another video? If you wanna see that, as always, be sure to leave a like in this video, let me know, and I'll return to try to get Lisa as far away from Chris as possible. Is another planet far enough? I'm on a different plane of existence and it doesn't feel far enough. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.